this Sunday's Gospel invites us to renew our unwavering trust in God in whatever situation we find ourselves in. The readings encourage us to renew our faith in the Lord of all creation. The storms of life are considered opportunities to grow in faith. We are asked to confidently trust that God can calm all the storms which rage within us and around us, most especially when we are tempted to give in to fear. In the gospel, Jesus embarked with his disciples to cross the other side of the lake. While they were in the middle of the journey, a storm came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. They immediately woke Jesus, who was then sleeping. When the Lord woke up, he immediately calmed the storm and reprimanded his disciples for their lack of faith. Pope Francis commented, Often we do, beaten by the trials of life, have cried out to the Lord in these situations and in many others. We too feel suffocated by fear. At the moment of drowning, we cry out, Save us! In the gospel, the disciples approach Jesus to wake him up. This is the beginning of our faith, to recognize that alone we will be unable to stay afloat. That we need Jesus like sailors need the stars to find their course. The gospel emphasizes that life is indeed uncertain. We simply do not know what awaits us in the future. We face unforeseen dangers. When problems and difficulties arise, we forget that the Lord is always with us. He is beside us to assist, accompany, and save us. The Holy Father insists that we are never alone in our journey in life. For, he said, alone, it will be impossible to stay afloat. Jesus asked his companions aboard the boat a question which also pertains to us. Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? They were gripped with fear because they focused on the waves more than on looking at Jesus. It is this way most of the time for us too. We may, because of pride, say that we can survive alone or make it without God's help. But we know this is not true. We still do not know a lot of things in life. Pope Francis reminds us, faith begins from believing that we are not enough for ourselves, from feeling in need of God when we overcome the temptation to close ourselves off, when we overcome the false religiosity that does not want to disturb God when we cry out to Him. The Lord can work wonders in us. The problem lies in our excessive self-confidence. St. Paul, in today's second reading, emphasizes that the Lord precisely died and rose for us to complete and assure us victory in life if we unite ourselves with Him. Our confidence is in the Lord who accompanies us every step of the way. With Him, we have absolutely nothing to fear since He holds our future and life in His hands. God bless you.